can can you unmute on on the on the website? I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we in? Yeah! 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 was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. That oh, was incredible. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, no, I had somebody make it for me. Yeah, he's really talented. They nailed it. They did a fantastic job. Oh, Good thank job. you. Thank you. I, I, you know, I'm a weeb. I love anime. <laughs> so I oh, had to well, have... Don't we all? Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Oh, good stuff. Love you to see you, sweetheart. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. Oh. Uh, is there is there some kind of opening the show protocol that we need to go through? Do you oh. have announcements to make? Housekeeping? <laughs> Honestly, typically, I usually forget to announce people and we just start talking, but please go introduce yourself. Uh, I'll introduce myself. Yeah. Right, you ready? Yeah. Three, three two, one. Ah, uh, Mila san what is going on, beautiful people, residents of the internet, friends, relatives, pets, and associates? This is Lady Beard coming at you straight across the airwaves and into your heart! Yeah! Oh my yes. god, that was so cute! This is sensational! This that was is so wonderful. cute. You look fantastic, sweetie. Oh, thank you. No, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You look fantastic. <laughs> oh, bless you, sweetheart. What a good girl. I got the oh my that. god, you're such an <laughs> idol. I love it. <laughs> you're delightful. What a good girl. I love um, it. <laughs> you look you look incredible. Look at your uh, your bat wings. This is this oh, is fantastic. Yeah, look, they, they, they flap when I'm very happy. This is it. Oh my goodness, they do! Ah! <laughs> that is wonderful. Well, if I'm sad, you, you look sad. Oh. They don't flap. Oh, it was nicer when you were happy. Okay, I'm happy. Yeah, that's, that's far superior. I love it. <laughs> this is wonderful. Um, uh, I must ask, uh, how long did it take you to get your hair like that? Your oh. hair is uh, spectacular. Oh, thousands of years. Thousands of years. Years, really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear me. Well, that's going to be hard to do each and every morning. Hair and makeup. Well, fantastic. I am Mouse has cracked the code. She knows how to get a thousand year long hair and makeup routine done quickly and efficiently. That's amazing. I wish I had this kind of skill, this talent. Well, you always Brilliant. look perfect, I'm sure. Oh, what a good. I am Mouse says all the correct things. What a good girl. Bless you, sweetheart. I'm a good girl. Oh. <laughs> Are Thank you not? You. Correct me if I'm wrong, dear viewers, is uh, uh, I am Mouse Satan, as she might otherwise be known, uh, not a good girl. You can let me know in the chat. <laughs> She's a high! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to get outed. I'm going to get outed. Oh, it's like a, like, don't worry. It's like an attractive belly button and ousty. It's fine. Don't worry. Everyone, everyone loves a good out. Oh, that's so, that's so, that's so true. I'm pro outy. Are you pro outy? I I'm pro anything really. Belly buttons are just very cute. Mm -hmm. That's why You're I have my showing your... kind of. You have your your belly button showing? Yeah, kind of, but not 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 that much. Usually in a lot of like my outfits, like I'll have like the definition of my belly button showing. Oh, you're right. On my oh. tongue. Oh, I see. Yeah, oh, you got a whole outfit going on. I was only seeing you from you know top of the table. Oh, did you think I was only half? <laughs> No, I didn't. Yes, I thought you were half, if I'm frank. Can you I'm stand full, up so I can I'm see I'm a full you? demon. Oh, wow. You're a, a, a whole devil. This is amazing. <laughs> look, at, look at your tentacles. <laughs> oh, no, that's my tail. That's my tail. Oh, that's a tail. Be. I'm sorry. I thought that yeah. Was hands. Well, I mean, wait, my hands? Oh, these yeah. hands. Oh, there are your hands. I'm so sorry. I thought your, um, oh. Hanging off your devil bells um, ribbons were your were your hands. I'm oh, so sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's a very complicated jacket. 
I love it though. You look beautiful. I want I want to know more about your outfit. It's perfect. Um uh this is uh, uh my dress which I wear in my group baby beard. And if you don't know my group baby beard, uh that features uh, me screaming and dancing flanked by two adorable Japanese idols, Suzu and Kotomi, singing and dancing. Uh you can check us out on the internet at babybeard underscore Japan. Um now these particular dresses we are modeled on cupcakes. So uh every one of us is a unique flavor of cupcake. So I'm a raspberry cupcake, as you can see. Um, uh, Kotomi is a blueberry cupcake, and Suzu, I believe, is, um, a peppermint chalk mint, I think. That's correct. Oh my god, that is so cute. Aww, that is so, so cute! Ah! Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just obsessed, because, like, I, so I'm obsessed with Lolita fashion, and, Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, and idol fashion. I just love, like, I love idols. <laughs> Great, fantastic. Who's your favorite idol? Oh my god. Well, I used to be into like AKB. Cool, nothing wrong with that. Good stuff, excellent. <laughs> the veterans, the veterans yeah, of the sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're titans to me. Well, there you are. There you are. Um, uh, you were into them in the generation when they were the, uh, what were they called? The the Megumi generation? The Kami-sama generation? When they had the Tomomis and they had that generation? The Kami 7. Yeah. We used the Kami 7 generation? Kami 7, yeah! Oh my god, I feel kind of old now. <laughs> no! Old <laughs> Schmoll! Old Schmoll! Listen, you're uh, 10,000 years old. You don't need to worry about... You, That's you're true. not like a day over 14. Everything's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's an extreme compliment. Thank you. Oh my goodness, your skin is immaculate. I can't get over how wonderful your skin is. Oh, I need, thank I need you. tips on skincare. It's from the flames skin. of hell. They really help. <laughs> um, so, so, uh, tell me about about yourself, young lady. Oh! I know that all your fans listening already know you very well, but this is our first time That's meeting. That's true. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself and your, your adventures in hell and now in the, the human realm. Oh, oh my goodness. I didn't expect you to actually ask about me. I expected to I'm sorry. bombard I'm you to with tons of questions. I'll face the other way. No, no, come back, please. No, no, good. All right, I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I am a VTuber from V okay. My name is Iron Mouse. Uh, but uh, in actuality, I'm actually Satan. Satan? Yes. But I, I, I took right. on the persona of Iron Mouse uh, here on Earth uh, because I wanted to uh, experience uh, human culture and human life. Oh, was that right? Yeah. Oh, I see. All it's right. very fascinating, um, don't you think? Well, how are you enjoying the experience thus far? I'm loving it so much, I never want to go back. Really? Yeah. So you, you've become an expatriate of hell. Yeah. You've said... No more of this fire and brimstone. Hey, give me fluffy ducks and kawaii Japanese idols. You yes. made the decision. Yes, yes, yes. Cute fashion, cute idols, and cu only cute things. Oh, this is wonderful. You are the most adorable devil I've ever encountered. This is sensational. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're wonderful. Please. Oh, look at your tail. <laughs> Can I see your tail again, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable. Wish I had a tail. Oh, you you fantastic. should get a tail on your costume. Maybe I should get a tail. Maybe. I should get a tail, damn it. What if one why, day why get... you, you guys can be like animal themed? Ah, what animal idea, would you be? Well, well, commonly the animal I most identify with is an animal of my own creation, which is half bear and half frog. Yeah. Oh. So so the Japanese Kuma is bear and Kaeru is frog. So I identify with a crossbred animal called a Kumaeru. Kumaeru. Uh, Kumaeru. That's right. That's how I normally identify. However, in the tail department, I think I'd like a cute little sheep's tail because I think they are the cutest tails going. Oh, they're so fluffy and short. <laughs> They are, aren't they? They're just a little tail, just a little, just, 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 just a small tail, just a, just a small tail. It bounces back if you bend it, just a small little tail. I love it. Bears have cute fluffy <laughs> tails too. They got cute little bear tails. 
Oh, bears do have those little bear tails, don't they? That's a good point. Yeah. Oh, you can wear little yeah. bear ears and have little bear paws. <laughs> Yay, kawaii, Jenna. Ah, kawaii! <laughs> <laughs> my my so Japanese weird. is very like elementary school level. I took it in school, but uh, yeah. I yeah, it's just very difficult for me because I never really like had somebody to like talk to in Japanese to practice, and also mm. like uh, I suck at reading kanji. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you don't. I'm sure you're very good. I at it. I have not been able to memorize much kanji. It's very hard for me. I need furidana to read. Oh, well, fair enough. Well, listen, listen, listen. That's why they have Furigana, because, you know, I, I know a lot of Japanese people who can't read a lot of kanji, so I don't think you need to be too hard on yourself in that time. Oh, okay. You're so <laughs> kind. You're so kind to me. Uh, uh, listen, I appreciate being on the show. Thank you for having us today. This is no. sensational. Oh, my God. I'm honored to have you on, honestly. Oh, yeah. This Thank is an so honor. Much. I've been a fan of yours for quite some time. And, uh, oh, bless! Thank you. You're lovely. I always wanted to learn how to metal scream, but I just don't. I just can't seem to learn. Do you want to go through a screaming lesson? <gasps> yes. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right. Now you've gotten yourself. I assume you're nicely warmed up, and you don't have a cold or anything like that. Well, I'm, I have a little bit of a cold, but it's not. It's not the. It's not too bad. Um, oh no! All right. Right. No, well, you're fine. Just do you have a something? You have a have some fluids with you. Have a sip of the fluids. Oh, okay. We'll, um... Yeah, so that'll sort us both out. Yeah. <sighs> no problem. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, first things first. Uh, just for everybody paying attention, and also Mousy for yourself as well. If you want to learn how to really do this, you should go to a screaming teacher. Just letting you know, we're bypassing the first year or two of scream training, which features all the safety stuff. So you're, you, you enter at your own risk. Lady Beard is not I was, accountable. I was unaware that there was an actual screaming teacher. What? There are screaming teachers because there's a correct technique for screaming, you see. So this is the mistake that a lot of um, metal singers make, particularly early generation metal singers. They just went out there and just bashed it out. Mm. And then the problem they would have is they would lose their voice halfway through a tour and they could not finish the tour. Oh, no. So correct technique had to be developed so that people could finish tours and so forth. So, all right, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to push your tongue, the back of your tongue, to the top of your teeth, okay? And you're going to make a noise kind of like you're coughing. Ah, ah. <laughs> Go, no. no, you get up. Okay, one more time. Good girl. You want the noise to come kind of off the top of your mouth, yeah? Try to feel a vibration on the top of your mouth. Good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to very gently breathe in more and try to put more air behind that noise. Oh, goodness. Good, good. Breathe in a bit more. Good, good, good. Now just try to elongate that sound. Ah. Yeah, sounding excellent. Good ah. job, huh? <laughs> Thank you. This is that that noise is the basis that of off which you build a screen. Oh, mm -hmm. oh my god. The other one you can try. The other one you can try is like this. So you're going to so put your chin down and you're going to make a nice kind of round mouth and you're gonna impersonate kind of woofing like a dog <laughs> yeah good <laughs> now put more air behind it <laughs> wow good, good, good. <laughs> there you go good job sweetheart you sound wonderful <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um listen i would argue that, that the devil really needs the ability to, to death metal scream. It's true. And if the devil can't do death metal, then hey, who can? It's not satanic death metal without Satan involved. It's true. It's true. I need to learn. <laughs> you sound fantastic already. Oh, thank you. That, that, that is an honor coming from you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good girl, this is sensational. This is wonderful. <laughs> Look at all these lovely people in the chat. People are saying very nice things. Yes, from Opera House to Death Metal House. Oh my goodness, Opera House. Holy yeah. smokes. <laughs> now, actually, I wanted to ask you something because I heard you say something in a previous stream and I wanted to hear about it. Oh. Um, now, now, you went to performing arts school, is that I correct? I did, I did. That's amazing. What? So what did you study specifically? I studied opera theater. <laughs> this is why people are making comments about opera. Okay, so you study <laughs> opera. Yeah, I sang opera for quite some time. Uh, unfortunately, because of my health condition, I had to stop. Oh, I'm sorry to hear mm. that, really. Yeah, so... I, it was a whole affair. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about the, the whole affair, but listen, you know, you're doing very well with what you're currently doing, so it has not held you back at all, which is wonderful. No, um, no, not at all. I actually, uh, I, so, <laughs> it's funny how life works because I stopped singing, uh, and I ended up getting, like, a horrific bout of laryngitis for, like, a year, where I couldn't even, like, speak for a year. And then oh, uh, I thought, well, that there goes my voice. I'm never going to sing again. And then oh. I found VTubing. And then I started making money. And then I started affording better medical care. And now I can sing again. So... That's fantastic, really? Yeah. <laughs> what a remarkable story. That's incredible. <laughs> wow. Um, so it purely came down to the level of care that you were slash were not able to receive. Yeah. Well, I'm very glad that you were able to fix it. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, very kind of you. So you would have trained in all of that <laughs> type. Yeah, type yeah, yeah. I used to sing crazy stuff. <laughs> really? Back in but the you day. Had the Fifth element <laughs> and all of that, yeah? Yeah, I actually sang that at a recital in school because I was a coloratura soprano. Really? Mm -hmm. You are a woman of many talents. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're, you're a so soprano. Kind. Thank you. Oh, wow. Well, um, I also went to performing arts school. Oh. Um, so I went, but I went to drama school. So mine was acting school. Ah, uh, acting. So. Yeah. So we learned for the sake of, you know, our theater voices, we learned kind of the basics of an opera voice, but you know, we didn't have to sing in opera. We just learned kind of, you know, the mouth structure and that kind of thing. Yes. And it helps you with projecting. Helps you a lot with projecting. That's why we had to learn it. So, uh, yeah, there was a lot of, there was a lot of hit the back wall. There's a lot of hitting of the back wall involved. Oh, oh my God. I, I loved going to performing arts school. It was like one of my uh, favorite things. It was the only reason why I like school. <laughs> no, you I know? understand completely. <laughs> it was the only reason um, why I like school. But I, you know, uh, I'm just glad that I could start singing again now. But, you know. <laughs> so are you now, nowadays, do you sing on stage or do you sing on camera? I sing on my stream. I actually had a concert for my birthday, a 3D oh. concert. Uh, the video is actually up on YouTube right now. So oh. it was like the first ever concert that I've done in years. That's amazing, really. Well, I will have to watch the video after this. That sounds sensational. Yeah. Uh, everybody watching, if you haven't seen the video, make sure you clickety-clack in the, the linkamajig. Yeah, clickety-clack. <laughs> Look at the clack, damn it! Yeah, damn, damn it. it now! Look at the clack all day! Like a mother loving train! <laughs> um, I see, right, so you were an opera singer, you were a soprano. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a very. Um, you have to be incredibly competent to be a capable soprano. Yeah, um, I was a rare one because I was a coloratura soprano, which is like the highest like you can go. It's the only thing I used to be able to brag about. <laughs> you can still brag about it. Um, are you able to? Are you able to very quickly just bust out a little bit of soprano voice? Oh God! Uh, oh my God! Putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't if you don't want to. Oh no no no! Uh, oh my God! I don't, I don't even know what to say. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. We'll move on. I don't want to put you under pressure. I don't want to. Don't want to hold your feet to the fire. Although since you're from hell, you might be into that. But um, I don't want to, I don't want to. Would you like me up. to sing a song? 
I would I would love you to sing a song. Friends in the chat box, any suggestions for a song that can be busted out? <laughs> what is it? People want to hear me sing. <laughs> a lot of yes pleasers, that's right. Edge, I don't, oh, know, from... I don't know what this is. The edge of this world. People seem to want to hear a lot of edge oh, of this world. Oh, guys, I played that in the intro. <laughs> oh, well. In that, let's hear it live then. This is fantastic. Oh, people want me to sing Ave Maria. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Ave Maria? Okay. <laughs> Ave Maria? What? <laughs> I'll do I'll do when I look at you from the Scarlet Pimpernel. Oh. <laughs> I'll get the karaoke ready. You'll probably hear me acapella, so because I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but Oh okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh goodness, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> <clears throat> For you, I'll do it though. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was immaculate! Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was incredible. Look, look how talented you are. This is remarkable to me. Oh, you're just as talented. What do you say? Oh. I can't sing soprano. I can't sing. You can, can sing and, and you can little name. scream. I can barely say my own name. Also, aren't you a martial artist? I am one of those, that's correct, yeah. Exactly, that's ex You know, I've always wanted to do martial arts, but my mom never yeah. let me because she told me that it was for boys. Uh, well, that's an attitude that will get you cancelled in the year 2023. I know, she's, sure. she's an old-fashioned Puerto Rican woman, of course. Also, she, you know, she was worried about me because of my health, so she was like, you can't do that sort of thing, that you're, you're too frail, and you're too this, and you can't, and I'm like... And it's for boys, and I'm like, ugh. Uh, Mom had your best interests at heart. Mom was she taking did. care of her. She did. But I wish I, um, I could have done martial arts. Yeah? Which yeah. martial art were you interested in, in training? Capoeira. <laughs> capoeira? Yeah. I did capoeira. Awesome. I was obsessed with capoeira and Muay Thai for quite some time. Really? Capoeira and Muay Thai? Yes. Legs! <laughs> oh my goodness, we need to get the Iron Mouse Capoeira Muay Thai special underway. Yeah! Oh my god, if I could ever do it, I, I would love to. I, I'm i just fascinated with Capoeira. It's just such a fascinating art. Yeah, it's very interesting, actually, when you start training it. it's uh, There's kind of a, a bit of a learning curve, especially from if you're from other martial arts, because it's, uh, you know, especially traditional martial arts are very kind of like, mm, Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of kind of there's specific technique, and there's specific technique in capoeira as well. But everything's so fluid, and everything kind of comes off this yeah. jinga base. It's so like a it's dance. Kind of, it's a whole new, I guess, attitude and approach that you need to get your head around. Um, but yeah, it's a remarkable art. It's very, very beautiful. Um, you could train capoeira. There are clubs everywhere. Oh my god, I I wish I if I could ever get my 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 uh hmm my body together maybe maybe i would love to one day or get somebody to yeah. come and like train me at my house <laughs> tell you what tell you what if we're ever um if, if we ever meet in a non-virtual capacity i will train you in oh of my god really <laughs> yeah ah! i would be honored how long did you do capoeira for i did capoeira for about four years i think <gasps> oh my god you must be so good Capoeira was, uh, oh, I'm all right. I'm good at the kicking. I'm good at the kicking, but I'm not particularly good at the acrobatics. Oh, I see. I see. Oh. <laughs> but we'll have a wonderful time training Capoeira. I can't yeah, wait. I, oh, my God. I, it's been a dream of mine to train for, for, for ever. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's just something that's just so mesmerizing to me. I don't know why. It calls to me. That's wonderful. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I think you should train then. I would love wow. to. One day, you and me, we're going to train. You and me, You're going to teach me everything you know. I will. I'll teach you 100% of all my cup of skill. Have to I'll fly you out to my to house people. and everything. That sounds great. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do an in-person stream. That'll be sensational. We'll do an yes. in-person cup of stream. <laughs>
We'll get some more people. You can do a really nice class. All right, that'd be great, actually. Actually, that'd be good fun. That'd be good fun. <laughs> um, now, okay, so you're Puerto Rican, so you can speak Spanish. Si. <laughs> you, you do not speak any Portuguese, yeah? No, I don't. I wish I did. Okay. I've had multiple people come into my stream asking me if I spoke Portuguese, and I'm like, man, I want to learn. I, I've i always wanted to be a polyglot, like, my whole life. Mm. So I would love to learn it. I want to learn multiple languages, but I don't know. I just know Spanish. Okay, well, the reason I'm asking is because, of course, Capoeira is Brazilian, mm -hmm. so all the songs are in Portuguese. Yeah. But if you're already a native Spanish speaker, it shouldn't be terribly difficult for you to pick up Portuguese, yeah? Uh, it's... It I understand a little bit, but not a lot. <laughs> yeah, okay, there are certain words that are the same, but it's mm. it's a little bit difficult for me. I see. Okay. Mm. Well, if you decide you're going to do it, I'm sure you can do it, and uh, I will support you wholeheartedly. <gasps> um, but already you have what English, Spanish, Japanese. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's three, and your Japanese is at what level? Have you? Done I love my tree school. <laughs> That's all right. Same as mine. Even better than mine. Mine's terrible. I forgot. I took the proficiency test, but I for, I don't remember what I how I did. Oh, really? yeah. Which um, which one did you do? Which level did you do? I think it was like the beginner level. It wasn't even Basically anything level. crazy, cause oh. I I didn't I I intended to study Japanese in school, but it mm. just unfortunately my health kind of like stopped me from doing a lot of stuff, so mm. I couldn't mm. really like continue on with the lessons that i wanted to i'm taking lessons now <laughs> again good good excellent good good yeah. um can you explain more about this health condition please well uh well i have a uh uh chronic immune deficiency disease it's uh actually a primary immune deficiency disease which means it is a genetic disease uh, it's called CVID, or Common Variable Immune Deficiency Disease. Uh, basically, I like to explain it is uh, my body doesn't make antibodies to fight against infections and viruses. It's like uh, my immune system is like made of Swiss cheese. There's a lot of holes in it, and uh, I don't make the antibodies, so I have to get donated plasma every week uh, from lovely people who donate plasma so if you can donate plasma please donate plasma uh uh so i get plasma donations people pl donate plasma and i get uh plasma infusions every week to uh basically like replace what i don't have my goodness um wow well firstly that's uh that, you're very brave and remarkable for being uh. able to go through that um oh thank you plasma infusions so they'll put a needle into your arm or something and they'll pump you up with plasma? Well, I have an implanted port in my chest because I have to be on medicine all the time. You're like Iron Man! <laughs> yes, I'm like You're Iron like Man! You're Iron Mouse! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> yeah! <laughs> you are the cute satanic... Iteration <laughs> of Iron Man. This is so yeah, I have to be connected uh, to medication all the time. Uh, and uh, so my nurse comes every week and she administers plasma. Because since it's a, br a blood product, I can't uh, administer it by myself. Uh, you have to administer it with somebody there. But uh, the rest of my medicine, I can do it myself. <laughs> okay. Wow. So hang on. Blood-oriented medication requires someone who's trained in the handling of blood or something like that. Is that correct? Well, yeah, because when you get uh, infusions, when you get blood plasma or even like normal like blood transfusion, you have a risk of anaphylactic shock. So they need somebody oh. there. Oh, ofta. Wow, I see. Um, but then your other medication you can handle by yourself. Yeah, I can. I've been on it for a long time, so I'm basically my own nurse. And that is oral medication or that's No, no, or... injectable into the little hole in my chest. Oh, you inject yourself in your hole. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow, that's remarkable. Huh. <laughs> I do, I do. I'm you actually on a... something right now. <laughs> what, really? Wait, hang on. You're injecting yourself as we speak? I'm on a, I'm on a medical pump that injects the medicine over a period of time. 
So you have a tube coming out of your chest or something right now? Yeah, I do. Wow, sweetheart. <laughs> um, you're very impressive for being on a stream and being able to engage with someone else with this much energy <laughs> whilst, whilst simultaneously uh, receiving blood medication. That's incredible. Oh, God. You're, you're too kind. Thank you very much. Honestly, oh, like, what? VTubing has allowed me to do things that I would have never... Like, I I can't hold down a normal job or, like, yeah. I guess live a normal life. Uh, but yeah. with VTubing, I can I can do it. It's fine. Because I'm in my bed at home talking to you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hey, but you can't hold down a normal job from a physical perspective as yeah. you can't be away from your medicine and whatnot. Yeah, and it's it's difficult because with this condition, it's hard to be around people. Like, I've had to self-isolate a lot because I can't be around people who are sick all the time. I can't be around... I, you know, I catch things very, very easily. So it's like... Really? If my family has, like, a cold, I need to stay away from them because I'll immediately get it. So, if you don't mind me asking... COVID-19 would have been quite the intense period for you, yeah? Man, what sucked about COVID is that for since COVID started, my family, like, isolated completely. Like, no one went out, right? I never go out, but they didn't go out, and they're not used to that sort of life. So then my parents went out for the first time, and the first day that they go out, they got COVID, and they brought it home to me. And then oh, I got kidding. COVID. I got COVID, uh, and I had long COVID, so I had COVID for like six, seven months. <laughs> oh, so well, okay. Well, you survived, which is wonderful. I did. <laughs> so this is this is great news. Um, but did it did it knock you out? Were you able to keep streaming and keep VTubing? The first the first couple of weeks, it was very difficult. But I'm just going to be honest, I'm very lucky that I didn't catch COVID when the pandemic first started because I feel like the disease was very strong at the, at first and it was a lot. Uh, towards the end, uh, I mean, it's still going on now, but now the strangers are m so much weaker. So I ended up catching a weaker version and it still knocked me off, off my butt. But uh, I'm going to be honest, it wasn't any different than how I usually feel when i'm sick okay. Okay. it was really well, like similar to normal stuff that i go through because i get like bronchitis like fairly frequently and stuff so i was like oh that's it <laughs> wow really yeah oh. it was just like an inconvenience <laughs> i'm glad that it um worked out fine in the end <laughs> It did, it did. I mean, it was it was rough. It was rough and it was scary because, uh, you know, the first thing when I tested positive, I was like, <gasps> I was like, oh my God, am I going to die? <laughs> I was like, am I going to die? And then I was like, oh, hopefully it's not the, the other one. Hopefully it's this one. And then uh, it turns out it was the other. It wasn't the stronger one. It was the, the weaker variant. And uh, I think I fought it pretty well. It was kind of difficult. It did hinder my streaming for a little bit but uh i'm crazy <laughs> okay. as you can tell i woke up sick today and i was like i'm still doing this stream i don't care i love your dedication good job i'm what just i'm, I'm just insane you. i'm crazy i streamed for uh for 30 days straight without ever ending my stream i did a subathon where i was live for 30 days and uh, i'm i'm a psychopath so you were you were on stream whilst you went to sleep and whilst you ate and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's wow, that's some dedication, young lady. That is some pretty <laughs> extreme streaming. <laughs> you are an ex streamer, is what you are. <laughs> I feel like we're talking too much about me. We didn't talk about you. I love hearing about you. This is wonderful. I got, I got a digital friend with me. I've never met the digital devil before. This is sensational. Oh, digital <laughs> devil. I love that name. You're the digital devil, sweetheart. You're Iron Mouse, the digital devil. Oh my god, you're so cute. You're so adorable. I'm dying. <laughs> well, what a good girl. I am dying. If I were to, if I was thinking about this earlier, hmm? now I would never do this. 
because it's rude. But if I were to mispronounce your name, I would call you Aronmius. 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 Oh, that's okay. I call myself Iron Mouse sometimes. Oh well, there we go. That's fine. Oh, I thought I had a hilarious joke to bring in. No, it's no, okay. No. <laughs> I mispronounce things all the time. No, it's fine. I'll go no, back tell my your story. joke, please. I'll go through my whole joke then. My whole name mispronunciation joke. I had a whole bit organized. Now I've ruined I'm the sorry, bit. Sorry, I ruined your bit. No, it's all right. I ruined it myself. <laughs> I should have thought of something more original. Here's my bit. I'll go into my bit, even though I've ruined the bit already. Go into your bit. Say, I was going to say, I could, if I were to mispronounce your name, uh, I will call you Aron, uh, Aron the Moose. Sorry. Aron, Aron, Aron the Moose. Aron the Moose. Aron the Moose. And then I was going to go into where I had to mispronounce Connor's name. I will call him <laughs> Knorr. And then where I had to mispronounce Joey's name, he would be Shala. <laughs> And, uh, and Gaunt is a tricky one. Grant. But I thought probably, probably G R not would be how I pronounce that. That's the end of my bit. I thank you for laughing with mercy. <laughs> no, you make me laugh. It's funny. What a good girl. You're so sweet. I watched your interview on, on Trash Taste. It was such an exciting episode. Oh yeah? Oh thank you. I yeah, I trashed I trashed the trash taste <laughs> studio. That's what I did. I showed them what the real taste of being trashed is. <laughs> I don't think they were prepared for your energy. They were like pretty like shaken up uh with the amount of energy that you brought. <laughs> they were uh when I arrived, they were so chilled out. I, I met them at Denny's and all three of them were just sort of sitting here like this. I'm like, alright, what's going on, gentlemen? They're like, holy moly. Yeah, I think they were also <laughs> unprepared. <laughs> they're such calm people. They're not used to loud people like us. Yeah, they're not, are they? Hey, hey you and I should be on Trash Taste together. <gasps> oh my god, wait. The set will implode. <laughs> it's a wood implode. I don't know Bloody if they can cool. handle that. Yeah, set can't even handle me right now. Are we allowed to sing? Will we get algorithm banned? Oh no, this is a YouTube. This is fine. <laughs> Um, because you're a Spanish speaker, I imagine you can sing uh the entirety of Despacito uh, in, with fluent accent, yeah? Oh, Despacito! <laughs> yeah. Can I... you sing Despacito in soprano for us, please? <laughs> Wait, I need to look at the lyrics. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is all awesome. I'm terrible. I I'm, I've never had access to a soprano before. This is brilliant. <laughs> Full <laughs> access to a soprano anytime. This uh oh, I can't wait. This is excellent. My oh Spanish my... speaking soprano. Here we go. Man. My 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 digital devil. Here we go. <laughs> People have been trying, like, people have been trying to get me to sing this song all the time. And it's like, I feel like I'm like, <laughs> I don't know any of the lyrics by heart, but I feel bad not knowing them because, like, every Puerto Rican knows this song. Uh, well, of course, because it's a Puerto Rican song, isn't it? Yeah, right. Um, I only know it because my, uh, my friend Nicola looks exactly the same as Louis Fonzi. That's <gasps> the main reason. I know really? This song. Yeah, and he's not Puerto Rican. He's half Croatian, half Filipino, but he looks identical to Louis Fonzi. We look, listen, Puerto Rican people, we come in all shapes and sizes and colors, and and we're just a very diverse group of people. An eclectic bunch. You're an yeah. eclectic bunch is what you are. Very, very. I Well, I mean, you know, I don't look Puerto Rican myself. <laughs> Well, you look satanic. I do, I do. I look, I look pretty satanic right now. Mm, 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 mm. You have that devilishly lovely skin. <laughs> well, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> so, are we allowed to hear you bust out soprano just oh or should I leave it alone? Should no, I leave no. it alone? If you don't want to sing, I won't force you to sing. Oh, well, I don't know if I could do it in my operatic voice. I think it's going to take too much out of me, but I could, I could just sing it. <laughs> All right, it, wh whatever you feel comfortable with. Don't sing at all if you don't want to sing. I'm not oh, going to force you to sing. Oh, despacito. Anything. 
oído Quiero respirar tu cuello despacito Deja que te diga cosas al oído Para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo Yes! That's fantastic! Oh, you sound beautiful when you sing! Oh, thank wow. you! That's wonderful. And I gotta tell you as well, Spanish is a beautiful language. It sounds lovely when spoken. I love listening to Spanish. Really? Mm. Oh, man, that that's so nice. <laughs> Spanish is one of the few ones that I haven't really had a go at learning because, um, so I've learned, so obviously I'm a native English speaker, and then I learned mm. German in high school. And then I moved to Hong Kong and I learned Ooh. Cantonese. German, I ich liebe dich. Ah, ich, ah, ich liebe dich auch. Ah. Vielen Dank, meine Herzen. Wow, you are so sweet. You're a good girl. Ah, ah du selbst. Um, and then, so then I learned Japanese and then I uh, got famous in mainland China and I had to learn Mandarin. Oh. So, and then in Capoeira, we learned the songs in Portuguese. So... I've been exposed to quite a lot of languages, wow. but Spanish is one of the few that I've never really had a, you know, a real kind of, I guess, a purpose block for learning. So to that end, it's one of the few big main ones that I haven't really had exposure to. Spanish and French, I think are the big ones I haven't had exposure to. What do you want to learn in Spanish? I could teach you something right now. Oh, dear me. Um, if I want to say, um, if I want to say, uh, my digital devil is purely delightful. How would I say that? Oh, mi demonio digital es... Uh, well, how would you say delightful in Spanish? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican, so I speak Spanglish sometimes. My brain is like a, ma <laughs> a mixture. Spanglish. Yeah, Puerto Rican Spanish is a bit different than the uh, Spanish from like Spain or Spanish from Mexico. How would you say yeah. delightful? Uh, encan encan Esplendido? Encantado. Esplend Esplendido. Esplendido. Encantado. Delicioso. Delicioso is delicious. My digital devil is delicious. Oh, that works in English as well because it's got the three Ds. Oh, mi demonio digital es delicioso. Oh! <laughs> One more time, please. Mi demonio digital es delicioso. Mi de demonio. Sí, demonio. Digital. Mi demonio digital. Es. Es delicioso. Delicioso. Wow, this is amazing. Mi demonio digital es delicioso. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is wonderful. <laughs> Chat is you. bad. My first Spanish sentence. This oh, is excellent. I'm so happy that I could I could help you with your Spanish. Chat is bad. They want me to, to teach you bad words in Spanish. Bad chat, no. We're not teaching him bad words. Um, how do you? Oh, so I learned how to say nice beard. A be, be, bena barba, something like that. Oh, uh, buena buena barba, buen barba, buena barba. Buen, yeah. bueno, nice. But for for like a beard, what would you say? Uh, yeah, it would be like buena barba. I think buena it sounds kind of weird, but that's how it would be. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, okay. right. barba barba is beard. I'm sorry for any disturbance I caused. No, 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 no. It's just chats being naughty. Chats being naughty. Um, what Spanish would you recommend I learn? If let's say, let's say, um, I'm coming for some tourism in Puerto Rico. I'm excited for the sunshine. I am excited for the island living. What Espanol is essential for me to know? Oh, if you're going to come to Puerto Rico and go to the sunshine... I mean, it's sun everywhere. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> okay. No, right. guys, stop! <laughs> I'm glad I can't read Spanish. I'm not exposed to this wickedness in the chat. Somebody, somebody in chat is like, in Puerto Rico, just honestly just speak English. That's not true! <laughs> and also, that defeats the purpose of this exercise. <laughs> It's true. It's true. I'm not teaching him bad words. No. Everybody just wants me. Because I, I, I curse a lot in Spanish. Uh, it just comes out. It's a normal thing. For Puerto Rican people, It's it just happens. Everybody curses okay. in Spanish. But I'm not going to teach him bad words. He, he is pure. He's pure and heavenly. We can't corrupt him.
Yeah, please don't corrupt me. Because mainly because my manager, Shiori, who's sitting off screen here, will get very... Yeah, his manager's <laughs> here. We're going to get in trouble. <laughs> she will get me in trouble. Shiori goes to me the other day. So this is what I have, right? Anytime I'm on, like, on a stream or on an interview or something, if I say something I'm not supposed to say, Shiori always has a mask on. Mask on. I always see her look at me and go... <laughs> <laughs> but with the mask on. So she goes, she goes the other day, I think you and I both need to learn sign language so that when you're, when you're on camera, I could be like, stop the cut out the talking. And so she can tell me, <laughs> tell me when to shut up. <laughs> She's laughing right now. It's the first time I've seen her laugh in our <laughs> professional relationship together. It's normally. <laughs> that means you're doing something right. Hopefully. That Hopefully. means I'm Thank okay. She already yeah, likes me. I have now made Shiori smile. Yes! Yay! No. Shiori! Shiori! Ah, Shiori is <laughs> kawaii. It's delicioso! Shiori is kawaii. She's cute. Shiori is very kawaii. She's very kawaii. Oh my god. I love your voice. Love your voice so much. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, I, I think I sound a little weird because I'm a little under the weather, but thank you very much. Uh, hey, hey. Under the weather, but over our hearts. <gasps> well, I like your voice and I like your accent. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you. I'm Australian, eh? Yeah. Uh, Australian. Uh, oh, no. Australia. Have, you, have you ever been to Australia? I've never been to Australia, but I used to watch... Uh... <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I used I, I used to watch a TV show called H2O, and it's an Australian show, and I liked it a lot. It was about mermaids. That uh, makes sense why they would call it H2O. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, like if they named it like you know, Mud Wall, that would make no sense whatsoever. So I'm glad <laughs> they named it H2O. So I like the accent, and I'm like, I have a I have another friend who's Australian, and I'm always like, oh no. <laughs> Uh, oh no! I like how you guys <laughs> pronounce things. It's so cute. Thank you. Everyone likes the way we say the letter O. My American <laughs> friends always say there's like three different vowel sounds in there. No, they always try to do it. They go no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but that was good. That was a good I, no. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. This is fantastic. <sighs> um, uh, now, actually, hey, you know what? You mentioned your mother earlier, yeah? Yes. Is where's can we get your mom on stream? Where's <laughs> Mrs. Lion Mouse? <laughs> oh, she's in bed right now. Oh, uh, no. Let's let's hey, I'll be Mrs. Iron Mouse. I'll make her easy. <laughs> what? Alright, hey! I I'm Iron Mouse's mum. Alright, it's good being Aussie with a Puerto Rican daughter. Yeah, it's good being a mum with a daughter. Puerto Rican daughter, even though you're Aussie. Oh, I have. That's Mrs. Iron Mouse. That's how she talks. I probably should have changed her voice from my voice. That didn't bad at all. Let me try again. <laughs> Whoa, it's me, Mrs. Iron Mouse. I don't know what happened. Now, what a regional accent that this is. I'm like, what I I want to meet Mrs. Iron Mouth. Next time, can we have Mrs. Iron Mouth on stream? Oh, man. My mom... My mom and my dad, so they're, they they had me quite late in their life, so they're quite okay. elderly. Uh, oh, they they just learned recently how to use a computer. I just taught them how to go on YouTube, and oh, now my dad watches all my stuff on YouTube all the time. But oh, uh, really? my mom told me, my mom was like, because I asked my mom if she would ever like want to like talk or anything. She's like, me on on the internet. No, no, I can't. I can't go on your little show. No. Your little show. <laughs> yeah, she calls it my little show. My little that's online so, show. That's so cute. She's so sweet. Your little online show. How many? How many millions of followers do you have? She doesn't understand the concept of like followers and stuff. Like, I, you know, she's like, oh, are you hanging out with your friends on your little show? Aww. <laughs> Your mom's adorable. Meanwhile, I just got, I just I just bought a new place. Uh so we're moving right now. And you know, I'm like, "Mom, look what I did. I got us a new place to live with my little show." With your little show. What? 
It ain't that little, quite <laughs> clearly. <laughs> How did she respond? Crying. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, my parents, my parents, they've been taking care of me uh, for such a long time. And, uh, you know, so because of my condition, I've been basically like disabled for most of my life. And I haven't really been able to live much of a normal life for a long time. And now it's like I'm I have like a job and I'm like doing things that I never used to do before. And the re the the roles of the household has reversed because now they're even older now and they're retired and they can finally retire because i am taking care of them now which is what brings me great joy i just want to take yeah. care of my parents and uh i'm just really happy that uh i feel like everything happened right on time because they both right when covid hit like they were forced to retire and they were really worried about money and then all this vtubing stuff started taking off and i was like oh my god <sighs> just that in time beautiful story. that's oh. beautiful oh. so now you're able to switch it now you can financially support your parents yes now i take care of them <laughs> that is beautiful young lady that is absolutely oh. lovely <laughs> thank you very much you're, you're too sweet thank you no, oh, i gotta tell you i'm very impressed with this vtuber career you've put together what? it's um it's it's look listen listen it's not easy show business it ain't easy no. <laughs> it ain't easy so i'm very impressed so, okay, so hang on so your vtubing career really got going at the beginning of COVID 19. i feel like yeah because i've been i've been streaming since like 2017 but oh, okay. when COVID hit in 2020 that's when everything just started like ex i only have like 50 people watching me and then uh I, and at the time 50 was like a lot for me like even 20 was like a lot because I was, just, you know, I was just used to hanging out with like five people in my chat. And then I got 50 people watching me. I'm like, oh, my God, this is insane. There's 50 people watching me right now. And then uh, everything just started. It was like a like a snowball, like crazy picking up. Like I, I, didn't, I didn't even know what was going on. One day I had like 400 people watching. And the next day I had like a thousand. And I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> all right what's the, happening the magic of going viral and now i can't stand to look at how many people are watching because it makes me nervous and i'm like uh you are a superstar my friend there's a lot of people watching it's <laughs> excellent i i'm 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 honored that people are continuously get tricked by me to keep coming here <laughs> Oh, you are lovely. No, I think you've done extremely well for yourself, my friend. I'm very impressed. Great job. Very impressed. Oh, yeah. Very impressed. You're so, um, you're so kind. And also, I think now, also hearing about your um, health condition and the fact that, you know, regular life as such has been so challenging for you, I think that it adds a new level of kind of appreciation, I suppose, to yeah. what you're doing because uh, I imagine, is it is it difficult for you to kind of move around the house? Yeah, I, I had mobility issues for quite some time. Well, I was bedridden for several years. And now, because I have better uh, medical care and I've been... I feel like, even though I get sick now, I'm like the healthiest I've ever been in my whole life. Which is like... To a normal person, they'll be like, what? <laughs> You're pretty sick, ma'am. <laughs> Miss... Oh! S-I-C, S-I-C, it's a positive, don't worry about it. <laughs> but to me, I, I don't, you know, I, I see, I see it as a win, uh, I, you know, I, I feel like I've improved quite some, a bit, and I'm actually able to, like, get out of bed and shuffle around a little bit, and, uh, I can do basic tasks on my own again, which is something that I lost the ability to do, so I'm just, you know, and I'm, I, I'm just, like, really... I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, that is beautiful. Oh, wow. Just happy to be here. <laughs> that is lovely. Okay, right. So, okay. So, when we get you capoeira ing, when we get you playing capoeira, that's going to be another step up, yeah? Yeah, actually, I plan on going into physical therapy because uh, I, because of the fact that I was so ill, I was bedridden for a while. So, I. I got a uh, muscular atrophy and it was just very taxing on my body. 
So I'm slowly getting mobility again, but I still need a lot of help because, like, my body's just not used to moving like a human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, the devil. Uh, yeah, I'm just used to floating you know. around, you know? Uh, I understand. Uh, you float very well. You oh, float thank very you. beautifully. Um, I see. Right. Okay, cool. So you've got to get your mobility back. And you do a lot of, a lot of activism to kind of raise awareness for your condition, yeah? Yeah, at first, like, I was really worried about talking about it because I feel like, uh, to me, VTubing gave me back my life. But VTubing is also an extreme uh, form of escapism. It's so strange because, like, uh, it was my hobby, and it was my escape, and it was my happy place, and it eventually turned into my career, basically. So, um, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's weird to think that it's like, this is still my escape now. <laughs> mm. So, I, I just would, if I could, if I could be live all the time, and just VTube all the time, and not do anything else, I would be happy. <laughs> Wow, all right. Well, there's nothing I, There's nothing stopping you doing that. You could just leave the camera on. Exactly, which is what I did for 30 days. 30 days. So when you, during these 30 days, if you needed to go off camera, how did you deal with it? Did you just say, I'll be right back? Or just say, I'll be back in eight hours? Or how did you have? Oh, well, so it, it's quite funny. I So I had like a... You know, I was on Discord and I and I started a Discord server and I had all my friends join the Discord. So and I was in an open call the whole time so that my friends could drop by my stream whenever they wanted and they could take over my stream if I wasn't there and you know talk to chat. But uh, I was basically on camera twenty four hours a day, uh, unless I had to like use the bathroom. I would sleep on camera with the tracking on and everything. <laughs> Really? Yeah. So, did that lead to any um new information that you did not know about your sleeping self? Oh my god. <laughs> I I learned that I smile in my sleep. <laughs> oh great, that's I, lovely, really. I smile and laugh in my sleep and I talk in my sleep and I didn't know that I talked in my sleep. <laughs> that's beautiful. You should talk to me more. <laughs> it's so funny cuz um, like a lot of people they were like you know, typically, especially like that's that's the trope with VTubers that everybody thinks that oh well, you're faking your voice or you're using a voice changer. But then the time that I just started streaming and did the whole subathon thing, and I was on stream and I ended up falling asleep and I ended up sleep talking. People realized that this is my actual voice. It's your legitimate voice. <laughs> 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 that's wonderful. Um, so you talk in your sleep at the voice we're hearing now. That's how you sound. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Oh, sensational. That is brilliant. Oh, <laughs> um, well, you are braver than I. I would never let, I would never stream myself sleeping. I'm pretty sure me sleeping what? is a disaster. What are you oh, talking about? You're super brave. You do, you do incredible, insane. St aren't you did wrestling, right? That's correct. Pro wrestler, and that's stunt correct. work, right? Yep, yep, that's correct. That's yep, being yep. super brave. I could never do any of that stuff. <laughs> well, thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not uh being filmed sleeping, but yeah, I guess it is a different a dimension of bravery. What what is remarkable to me is so when you're doing stunts or pro wrestling or something like that, which is some kind of, you know, high intensity physical endeavor, um, I did my stuff, but I'm really not, you know, I'm not at a really top level of talent. So what's interesting is when you interact with the people who are, the stuff they do is just remarkable. Stuntmen are preposterous people. Those be things like, all right, so, all right, so we're in the helicopter. All right, camera's rolling. Ah, I don't need a parachute. I'll just do the job. Oh, <laughs> some men are ridiculous. They're incredible. They'll be like, oh, no, I'll just I'll, I'll bounce off the mountain. It'll be fine. I <laughs> find stunt men and stunt work so fascinating. I love it. It's uh, it's crazy work. Of course, it, you know, if it goes wrong, it goes horribly wrong. So therefore, you know, to get into the industry, there's well, 
in developed countries, there's a lot of kind of, you know, regulations that you have to go through, a lot of safety checks and things like that, a lot of training that needs to be done and certification to get in. Um, what is interesting is when you go to less developed nations, they don't have any of that. So, oh. <laughs> so because most of my career has been in Asia, um, we're doing stunts in, you know, places like Hong Kong, which is pretty developed, but um, not in terms of a lot of their stunt regulations. And like the Philippines as well, where I used to live, there's kind of like a lot of, all right, so uh, we're going to stick you on a wire and he's going to kick you and you're going to fly through the air and hit that wall. Oh my God. All right, action. Like, wait, 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 what? Ah! So there's all this kind of thing that happens. Um, in the Philippines, I had never done, I never trained in car stunts. Like I never learned how to do any of the stunt driving. And so for this movie in the Philippines, I got stuck in a car. They're like, all right speed at the camera and then just at the last minute swerve <laughs> oh my god are you sure i'm not a stunt driver like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you'll be fine that's okay. so scary oh it was hilarious it was great first take i'm like <sighs> scared i'm gonna kill a bunch of people uh, but it was hilarious we got it done in the end oh my god can you there are a couple people that are pretty surprised that you uh wrestled uh, can you talk a little bit more about that? Because people, some people sure. are like, what? Wrestling? You know, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, yeah, we didn't go through this. So I'm from Australia, but I live in Japan. I'm a, a cross-dressing pro wrestler and heavy metal singer. Um, so the pro wrestling side of things, yeah, I've been, I've wrestled for a good 10 years or so now. And so what happened with that was I was a martial artist when I was much younger. And from martial arts, I went into stunts. And I always had an interest in pro wrestling, but in my hometown, there was, I didn't really have access to any pro wrestling gyms. And then later in life, when I lived in Hong Kong, for the first time I did have access to a pro wrestling gym. So I started training in pro wrestling. Um, it's not the same as stunts, but there's kind of a lot of crossover, kind of like speaking Spanish and speaking Portuguese. There's mm. kind of you know, crossover and similarities. So therefore I caught on to some of the techniques relatively quickly. And um, within a month, I was doing shows and just quickly, that's not long enough to train in pro wrestling before you do it in public. So for anyone who's interested, train longer than a month before you do a show. Oh um, so I was on shows. I did my first show and then uh, overnight I was the most popular pro wrestler in Hong Kong. So <laughs> yeah! there, there we the career. As you should be because you're incredible. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you, sweetie. You're very kind. Um, yeah, so that was, I'll just fill you in the rest of the story. So then uh, I was a pro wrestler and then I wanted to start a musical career as well. And so I said, all right, I'm going to, um, start my, because I was in the ring as Lady Beard. And I said, I'm going to uh, bring my wrestling fan base with me to my music career. So I also did my music career as Lady Beard and I mixed those two things together and so forth. And, um, then I realized that my future didn't lie in Hong Kong, it lied in Japan. So I moved to Japan and then I got famous in Japan. And uh, now here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Now I'm with the digital devil. Ah! Who would have thought, who would have thought, hey, who would have thought back in 2007 or whatever it was, when I was in the Philippines in a car, speeding at a camera, not knowing how to control myself, who would have thought that all these years later I'd be talking to the digital devil right here, right now? <laughs> this is amazing. You've done so many things in your life, but you know what you have to do next now. What do I have to do now? You have to become a VTuber. <laughs> People in the chat, Ladybeard on the VTube. Do you want to see Ladybeard on the VTube? Yes, become <laughs> one of us. One of us. You're like those um green aliens from Toy Story. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a boss. Um, people in the chat seem enthusiastic. Shiori, be tubing. We're gonna have to look into it. It's been demanded. So yes. one of us to tell me, were I to become a VTuber, what would I have to look forward to, sweetie? Oh my god. It's it's and honestly, I tell people VTubing is what you make of it. Anybody can be a VTuber and you can make it into anything you want it to be. I know people that do VTubing that are musical artists. I know people that do like VTubing because they want to like educate people on certain subjects. You got people who are crazy like me. <laughs> <laughs> All you need to do is just uh, be yourself or pick a persona that you want to be. Uh, 
choose what you want to look like. You don't, I mean, you don't have to be yourself. You could be somebody else if you wanted to. I could be. I could be, I could be a can of energy drink. It's true. I could be Depleto, the dehydrating energy drink. That's what I could be. Depleto. Don't, don't laugh. I've seen VTubers, like there's a gun VTuber. A gun VTuber? Really? Yeah, like it's a gun. That's hilarious, really. Yeah, so cool. there's a cup of coffee VTuber. He's just a cup of coffee. He's a cup of coffee? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's and so he many. Just, he's on camera just chilling and talking and hanging out? Yeah, with the little steam coming out of his head and everything. <laughs> I love it. And so what is the core skill set of being a VTuber? Is it being able to talk freely and openly and consistently? Or in your opinion, what's the core skill that's required? I feel like to me, it's so funny. Uh, I've, I've heard this from multiple people, but a lot of people tell me that there's a lot of uh, parallels between wrestling and VTubing. All right. Uh, so many people have told me this, and I'm just, I'm just like thinking about it. It kind of is true because you're supposedly supposed to be this like larger than life personality, and you're just acting out your story and being yourself. And <laughs> people are like kayfabe. Kayfabe, yeah, right. It's exactly that. But you don't have to be that if you don't want to. There are people who do VTubing and they're just themselves, you know? Really? Right. Yeah. Um, on my podcast, I interviewed uh, Kason. <gasps> oh, Kason! Um, she's in my company! I was going to say, she's your buddy, isn't she? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. She, she is was awesome. Buddy. I love her. Yeah, she's very good at squatting. Oh my god, she's, she's insanely good at squatting. She wants to teach <laughs> me how to squat. Oh, I, I think you would be an immaculate squatter, my friend. Whoa, thank you. <laughs> I'm honored. Hey, son, I need to do the uh, the 24-hour digital squat-a-thon. <gasps> oh, my God. We should do that for... I, I'm actually going to do another uh, sub -a -thon in April. I plan on doing really? another 30 days. Uh, because... Because <laughs> I want to, one. Two, I want to celebrate because I'm moving. And three... Uh, I'm going to be raising money for the Immune Deficiency Foundation. So, uh, I was thinking, oh, now I'm thinking maybe we should do like a squat, a, a squat segment with Kason. Oh, oh, the squat segment has been decided. Yes. Oh, this is going to be something else. Yeah. Maybe you can come back and hang out with me <laughs> during my subathon. We'll do it. Let's get. We'll get involved in the subathon. We'll have. We'll squat it up with you in the case. <gasps> oh we'll yeah, we can all squat together. Yes. Yes. Squat. I'm wearing a skirt, so I'm gonna have to make sure the camera angles are appropriate because you know I don't want to. I don't want to get inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, you need to be appropriate. I don't have to be appropriate at all times. I'm a show of modesty. I am Lady Beard. You're you a say so maiden, of course. I am exactly. That's exactly what I am. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. Yeah, that sounds great. All three of us can squat. Hey, let's get Connor in on the squatting too. Get Connor <laughs> in on the squatting. We'll all pop a squat. Oh, yeah. This will be fantastic. You want Connor to squat too, huh? Hey, what do you reckon, Connor? You're going to bring the goods with the squat? The squat of course. Department? Well, listen, Connor is a natural born, like, he, he is the type of person where he loves competition. So, you know, he's going to bring his A game to the squat a lot. Really? Yep. He loves competitions. I didn't know that. He's obsessed with competition. He wants to be the really? best at everything. Really? Yeah. I was not aware of that. Oh, what else would you like to know about him? <laughs> what else would I like to know about? <laughs> Does Connor have... So he's a, a redhead, yeah? Yeah. I, I'm a very pro redhead. I'm very pro the red hair. I'm very pro the red beard, because I got mm. red in my beard too. So, hey, countryman. Um... Does Connor have red ha hair on his cheek? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> You've never seen a shirtless Connor? I or mean, a bare-chested Connor? I mean, in his videos, yeah. <laughs> in his videos, yeah. He has hairy chest. Yeah, because videos. you know he likes to, he likes to uh, cosplay in his videos. Good, of course he does. Oh, yes. You're right, I believe. But he doesn't I look as good as you in your outfit. Oh, you say the correct things. Oh, what a good girl. You're very sweet. <laughs> ah, yeah. 
You can look a competition just began. A lady beard versus Connor cosplay a fun just went down. Hey, sea dog, I'm looking at you, sir. <laughs> I'm challenging you to a, a crossplay fiesta. Let's see whose chest hair can look more delightful when popping out of a frilly bra. <laughs> it's on, sea dog. I'm coming for you, my friend. Prepare yourself. No sleep till victory. <laughs> Oh my god, are you guys gonna challenge each other? <gasps> we should do it for my subathon! We could do the challenge for the subathon. I, don't, I think I just laid down a challenge without really understanding what I challenged Connor to. <laughs> you challenged right. him to an outfit off. An outfit off? I got a feeling Connor will, will kick my buttocks in the outfit off. Oh dear. I don't know. Oh, I don't think he could pull off of looking as good as you. Oh, bless you. What a good girl. He kind of looks cool. haggard when he cosplays. Haggard! <laughs> Oh my lord, Connor's he's, gonna see this and listen, sparks are gonna fly! He's probably watching right now. He knows, right. I'm told, listen, he's, he, he's not good at putting things together, he's not good at putting things together. You know? Kanor, <coughs> my dear friend, Kanor, sea dog as it were, um, it seems a gauntlet has been thrown down. <laughs> he's gonna kill me! <laughs> <laughs> Beloved Iron Moyus has just thrown you from the frying pan into the fire, sir. You must prepare yourself for the battle of your life. Well, um, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll, we'll do something competitive. We'll do something. I'll, I'll make sure that it's exciting. All oh, right, I can't wait. <laughs> yes, yes, this is gonna be sensational. We could. Chris Broad did that chess boxing recently. Oh but, um, yeah, you saw that. Uh, I don't. I haven't seen the match yet, but I saw the process of him uh, on his socials. The process of him training and so forth. But I haven't had access to the actual match itself yet. Um, maybe Connor and I could do something like that. In in yeah, maybe we could do some kind of um uh, cross dressing taekwondo or something. <laughs> I have a clear advantage since I've trained taekwondo and he hasn't. So. <laughs> He did That's wrestling right. one time for a video recently. He did do wrestling one time. He did wrestling with my former company. So really? Those were, all, those were all my mates who were in that video, yeah. How do you think he did? <laughs> he did very well. I mean, look, yeah, listen, listen. His main job in that video was to get struck a lot. And he handled that perfectly. <laughs> he seems to be very good at that. <laughs> Yeah, no, he did. He did an excellent job. In all fairness, he did a very good job for someone who's never set foot in the ring before. He did a great job. Um, what's interesting about pro wrestling is things which, when you look at them, they seem very basic are actually not. Things like just running the ropes and whatnot. There's a technique involved with that, and um, everyone tries the first time, especially if they have not been taught the correct technique by a good teacher. And just hitting the ropes by itself can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So Connor actually did a very, very good job. I was very oh, impressed. Oh my god. It it did it looked pro I was kinda worried about him. Oh were you really? Yeah, I remember he, he that the, the day that he was filming he called me and he was like, Oh my god, I, I I'm uh, I'm gonna die and I'm like <laughs> I'm like, Oh god, please be he careful. Was fine. He, was he, was fine. Fine. he was fine, he was fine. He was fine. He was fine. My favorite part was when he was chopping um, uh, Takesh Takun. Takesh was going, more, more! I was going, no, not more! I can't do more! I loved it. Yeah, that was, oh man, that was... <laughs> what an insane <laughs> video, Jesus. Um, Aki did a very good job when she tried wrestling. Oh, I didn't see Aki try wrestling. What? When did she oh, do that? Aki tried wrestling with, Aki tried wrestling with me. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, you uh, go to the YouTube, you can watch Aki Dearest's video of trying pro wrestling with Lady Beard. You'll have a great time. How did how did yeah. she do? She did very very well. It's extreme. I was extremely impressed. Actually, she did an excellent job. Oh man! Well, now when I'm healthier, I want to try wrestling too. Oh, well, here we go! Hey, hey, this is excellent. We're going. We're gonna go. We're gonna go healthier. We're gonna go pro wrestling. We're gonna go capoeira. We have a 
an organized game plan from start to yeah. sensational. There's this one a wrestler that I really like. She's like an idol. I forgot her name. Marco uh, Ito Maki. Oh my god, she's so cute and I love her. <laughs> I think she's so great. I've worked with her. <gasps> oh my god, really? Yeah, she's hilarious. She's very funny. Oh my goodness, she's she's <laughs> so sweet. cute. And I'm like, yeah, whoa, she's... if I if I ever do wrestling, I wanna be like an idol wrestler. Why not? Oh uh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think you'd make an excellent idol wrestler. <gasps> really? Um, perhaps you could pioneer somehow VTube wrestling. Was that is that something that could somehow happen? There's a lot of there's a lot of interest in VTubing VTube wrestling. <laughs> right. A lot of interest. Really? Yeah. So okay. Well, all right. Is that okay? Well, well. There's a lot of interest. Perhaps this will have to be constructed. Actually, a friend of mine, uh, my friend Nianers, she's at the she's at V Shoujo with me. Uh, when we first launched V Shoujo, one of her goals was that she wanted to do a uh, uh, VTube wrestling. <laughs> she wanted awesome. us to all have a wrestling match. Wow! Really? Yeah. Okay. Has she been able to get re uh, VTube wrestling going? No, not yet, but you know what? I think soon it might become a reality. Yeah? I, I, I she think we could soon. On it uh, I think with the technology advancing the way it is, I think it's actually possible, more possible now than before, to be able to do it. Awesome. That's very exciting stuff. Technology has advanced so fast. It's very quick. <clears throat> like, even two years oh. ago, like... You know, you're looking at me right now, uh, and you see me moving and everything. But even like two years ago, the, the amount of movement that I'm showing now was not possible two years mm. ago. So mm. it's mm. it's insane the way how much uh, how much things have changed since then. Um, you are correct. So therefore, you know, I'm sure another year, two years from now, it's you know, it's going to exponentially increase from this point, isn't it? Definitely. Uh, extremely. It's already happening, too. There's, like, several devices out on the market for, like, uh, 3D tracking. Because right now, I'm 2D. So, I, I, I don't exist in a 3D space. But uh, I have 3D models, and I have existed in 3D space. And typically, uh, you usually need to be, like, in a studio and uh, be uh, in a suit and stuff. But now, there's so many things coming out now that do not require you to be in a studio and they don't require you to be in a suit so it's 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 getting more accessible by the day yeah uh, five years or so from now we won't be able to tell the difference between the virtual world and the uh the tactile world i can't wait <laughs> yeah really yeah yeah i don't know i i i love i love uh being virtual I love real life too, but, uh, you know, since I'm very limited in real life, uh, being virtual is the best option for me, so I'm even more obsessed with living my life on the internet, but you never know, I feel like lines are blurring so fast. I mean, look at us right now, I'm talking to a flesh tuber! You're talking to a flesh tuber! In the flesh! Yeah! Um, uh, okay, so... As the artificial intelligence develops, oh. do you do you have any kind of phobia or trepidation of the you know of the AI? Future, the yeah. Oh, I don't. I I don't even know. I don't know much about AI. Uh, to really like go into it or have an opinion, I just know that it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It seems scary sure, though. It seems scary. Uh, mm. but, you know, but that's only because. We grew up with movies like Terminator and stuff, so it's like it seems frightening to us. But mm. I don't know. It's 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 an interesting concept. I feel like uh, there's just so many other factors that go into it. You know, mm. Mm. so many other factors that go into it. Yeah, because there's like a huge debate on like uh, regarding, especially like with AI art and stuff and the creation of other stuff and it's just it's very it's a hot topic these days the ai art one is definitely a hot topic that mm -hmm. drew a lot of heat 
Yeah, I it did. It did. It did. I I actually used a, a AI chatbot on stream the other day, and it was an experience. <laughs> yeah, chatbot. <laughs> yeah, like so. Uh, apparently, people have been making like AIs of like VTubers and like of personalities and stuff. I wonder if there's an AI chatbot of you. I wonder if there is too. Shiori, do you have a way to Google up whether or not there's an AI chatbot of I me? I know there's an AI chatbot is. of me, and I ended up breaking it because I... <laughs> yeah! <You> destroyed it! <laughs> I did! I messed it up because I just... I don't know, I just didn't know how to talk to it. It's just very strange. Oh, okay. I did! I insulted it! You insulted it? Yeah, I insulted myself. Wow! <laughs> I'm bad. Well, you're not bad. You're lovely. You're well, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, um, you know, it's just chaotic evil. That's me. But that's what you're all about now. Yeah. You are. You're, you're the digital devil. The delinquent digital devil. The delicioso delinquent digital devil. If nothing gets disrupted, there'd be no point in having this many D's in your name. It's true, it's true. Besides, oh. disrupting things is fun. That's what makes life I agree. interesting. Hey, let's destroy something now. <gasps> that was a sponge. I threw a sponge. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this doesn't destroy very well when striking a hard surface because it's soft. <laughs> so it doesn't very bounce in the, the direction I'd like it to because it's a strange shape. You're so adorable, you holy assault. crap. I just I just committed sponge assault. I apologize. Oh Shiori's no, not sponge this. assault. Back to the usual, Shiori. There's no more smiling. We're <laughs> back to the fact of... <laughs> Ah, see, I've been assaulted now. Thank you for returning the assault. Here we are. Would you So I I put out a a form for people to ask you questions. Would you like to answer ah! some? I would love to answer some questions, please. Yay! People sent in some questions for you. Oh, thank you, everybody. This is exciting. They I will do my best to answer you. the questions. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. Our first question. Uh, who or what gives you inspiration for the costumes that you wear? Um. So, uh, I I'm a professional cross-dresser, so all of my stuff is cross-dressed. So I'm always in a skirt. Or something similar um to tell you what happened with that i've been doing that since i was 14 years old um because as you can see i'm quite noisy and in um what i found as a younger person was that in my small conservative little city that i'm from being noisy and outgoing was not always smiled upon so socially a lot of people would be like who's this noisy jackass Blah. and it would kind of get me in trouble just because i was talkative and social and so forth um then one day, I thought it'd be really funny to wear my big sister's school dress to a party, and I did. And what was interesting is then as a, a, a man who showed up in a dress, the same people who previously would have been like, yeah, you're so noisy, you make it there. Suddenly, they turned up in a dress, and they're like, ah, look at this guy! <laughs> so that kind of explains how I got into cross-dressing and kept the whole thing going and made it a career. Now, for specific costumes we go through, sometimes we do cosplays. So there'll be a character cosplay, and we'll specifically see a character, and I'll say, I want to do her, so we'll find a way to cosplay her. Um, other times, we just see styles and designs, and we say, I think that would look awesome on me, and try to figure that out. And then other times, we say, we're going to construct something from zero, and we try to put together a combination of elements that we think will work well for me, accentuate the bits of me that we think are accentuatable and um and we create something new so that's a bit about that thank you for your question what an absolute giga chad <laughs> bless you thank you very much giga chad i'm the only giga chad in pigtails and a skirt i reckon maybe i'm not actually maybe there's plenty of giga chads with pigtails and skirts skirt of chads only a true giga chad can do what you do Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Really? Thank you. You're very kind. I did not know this word, Chad, until the Trash Taste guys introduced <laughs> it to me. Oh, yeah, so, that's right. You didn't know the word Chad. I didn't know the word Chad, but now I'm all about it. Now I'm like, Chad, 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 Chad. Yeah, hey, me and my Chad Brigade be coming at you. I, I feel like Chad. now, like, well, the, the interview that you had was like a year ago. The, the, the term Chad has evolved. Yeah, now it's interesting because now I hear it used a lot more, whereas previously I had not heard it used at all. How do you feel it's evolved? 
Now, well, now it's not just Chad, it's Giga Chad. Like an, well, the ultimate right. <laughs> Chad, you know? Yep. Yeah, you need a yeah, very chiseled jaw to be the Giga Chad, don't you? You can only be photographed from here up. It's very important. <laughs> yeah, it's like the ultimate, ultimate Chad. Uh, he's awesome. I'm very pro Giga Chad. He looks great to me. You are Giga Chad! Oh, bless you. I'm like the Kawaii Giga Chad. I'm Giga Chad. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god you're so cute what the heck oh, ah, well, i have guy. more questions hit me another one. <laughs> oh goodness <clears throat> oh let me move my big head <laughs> hey lady beard big fan if you were to become a vtuber oh <laughs> what appearance or character would you go for well, this is the question, isn't it? Thank you. Firstly, um, I don't know this person's name who's asked this question. Thank oh, yeah, you very it's much. Anonymous. Uh, th thank you for your question, Anonymous. Thank you for being a big fan. I'm very grateful. I think I talk with Ramos. Yeah, this is this is the question we're addressing. If Lady Beat is to be a VTuber, I think maybe the, the Kawaii Chad or the Kiga Chad, maybe, maybe this has been thrown into the hat as an option. But the real question is, ladies, gentlemen, others, uh, other friends. All friends, what, what do you reckon Lady Beard's VTuber personality should be? That's what I want to know. Something cute! Something cute. Something cute. Maybe I could be um, like an octopus that has a handlebar moustache. <gasps> and um, uh, to that end, um, I actually, I, like, I, I mousse and grease my moustache on camera. I'll be... Uh, uh, Tash Tentacle. Everybody's the, uh... saying Frog Bear. Oh, yes, the Kumayana! I'm looking at Shiori with glee. She's looking back at me like this. Oh my god, you could be a cute, uh, a cute, uh, bear, bear, uh, bear, uh, I want to say, like, Neko Mimi. <laughs> Like a Neko Mimi, but with bear ears and wearing a frog dress. <gasps> oh, like Donkey Kong. Oh we God. are going to do some Kumaira Mimi. This is amazing. Oh. That will be so it's cute. Lady Beard, the, the Kumaira Kuma Chat Mimi. is coming at you. I can't wait. This is going to kawaii. This is going to be very exciting. I'm so pumped. Oh, my God. Wait, don't get me started. Hold on. I'm going to start messaging people. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wants to draw Lady Beard's uh, Life 2D uh, V2 model, please get in touch with me. Please, I'll be thrilled. I can't wait. This is gonna be awesome. I'll pay for it. So just get in touch oh, with me. Yeah. Pay for it. Don't be silly. I'll Don't give it to you as a gift. Oh, come on now. Come for on coming now. on my Your show. Presence is a present. Your presence is a present. No, your presence is a present. <laughs> She's so sweet. She's <laughs> remarkable. That's true. I know a guy. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody tells like Iron Mouse says, I know a guy. That's true. I do. Right. I know a guy for yeah. everything. Do you really? <laughs> what, no. if, what if I wanted to get hold of like an entire refrigerator full of contraband cheese? What? Contraband cheese? Yeah, like yeah. if there were particular cheese wheels, which was so delicious that they were banned outside the French Alps. Is that, that a thing that actually happened? Have a guy that could get me some? Huh? Is that is that a thing? Oh, is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know a guy. Okay, all right. All right. The digital devil's got me <laughs> Oh, yeah, the maggot cheese. Oh, <laughs> I don't understand maggot how cheese? there's there's a cheese that's like it has like maggots on it. What maggots? Yeah, yeah you it's keep like, that in your contraband fridge. I'll be fine for it's the maggots. It's like eaten <laughs> by maggots and then you eat it. Oh, I feel like it will not remain in your stomach very long. <laughs> Sounds horrendous to me. I don't remember the name of it though. Oh, let's. That's fine. We can leave that. It's very expensive. It is. Okay. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, that's the sure that's that's is. the word on the street. Oh, sure it is. That sounds awful. Blue cheese is delightful. You can send me some blue cheese. I'll have some of that. That sounds. Uh, 
Oh, blue cheese is yummy. Blue cheese is the best, isn't it? So pro blue cheese. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, it's illegal cheese. Oh, it is illegal. Illegal? But the maggot cheese? Yeah. But you know a guy who can get the maggot cheese. I know a guy. Don't, don't tell anybody. Oh, I want. There's no one else listening. As far Chat, as this don't tell, I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone. But not, not. Shh. Yeah. Not a single person. Next question. Next question. Oh, hey, I love your work a lot. I want to know, what's the best wrestling match performance you can think of? Oh, um, thank you for liking my work. Thank you for your question, dear anonymous. Um, uh. I think the question is something along the lines of what's my favorite match? I think, mm -hmm. I think that's what the question thrust towards. And uh, my answer to that is uh, the first Rock versus Cena at WrestleMania, because I thought that was a fantastic match. And uh, when they were back and forth, hitting one another with one another's finishes, I thought that was beautiful. I thought the way the Rock, rock caught him at the end, a rock bottom, I thought it was beautiful. It was a very well-crafted match. And the whole time, the Rock had a busted hip. So it's pretty impressive. Really? Yeah, The Rock has a... There's a big monologue you can see about it on YouTube when The Rock talks about... It's a 45-minute long match, and something like 10 minutes in, he felt... Um, uh, I think what had happened was he tore the tendon off the bone of the hip. Ah! So, yeah. But then it's... Um, he has a big speech about it on YouTube, which I will not butcher or just try and discredit The Rock in any way. But he talks about, in that moment, he's got the choice. He can either stop the match right there and the referee can give the signal saying there's a, rest, a wrestler who's injured. They can end the match or he can keep going. And they kept going and, you know, the injury got progressively worse with every slam. <laughs> but then he finished the match and it's, you know, and now that is my favorite match. So thanks, Rock. Whoa. I have to watch that match now. Yeah, you got it. It's a great, it's a great match. And they built up to it for a long time as well. They built up to it over months. So it was very compelling. Oh, what an interesting man! I, I never used to be into wrestling or anything, but as of recently, since I've a lot of VTubers have like expressed a lot of like parallels between the two, I I have come to appreciate it more, and I've been more interested in consuming more wrestling content. Mm. Um, wrestling, uh, professional wrestling, really is uh. A beautiful art form, and it's really experiencing a kind of a, a renaissance slash modern heyday at the moment. Um, and I think a lot of people have an image of wrestling kind of the way that it was on TV in the 80s, which was very sort of waka waka. Um, uh, but now it's really the place that it's in now. Oh, the wrestlers who are good are very, very athletic. Everyone's a very good performer. And if you can't hang, they're kind of in a position now when if you can't hang, you can't really be involved to any serious level anymore. So wrestling really is um, a unique and beautiful form of storytelling. And uh, if you're not a wrestling fan, you should try checking it out because uh, there's honestly something in there for everyone. Yeah. I didn't think there would be for me, but I like it. Good. I'm glad you're having a good time. Do you have a favorite wrestler, or apart from Ito Maki? Do you have a favorite match or a favorite wrestler or anything like that? Honestly, no. I I remember when I was a kid, my brother was into wrestling a lot, and yeah. I just thought, like, to me, it didn't seem. I wasn't really that interested, but I remember how excited he would get, and how much of an event it was at my house whenever mm. something crazy would happen. So I kind of like. I kind of like get that feeling now when I'm watching it, but I know that there are. <laughs> it's funny. There's this other wrestler. She um she's Puerto Rican, and I actually played a game with her on stream uh not too long ago, and <laughs> I I I found out that she was a wrestler, and then after we played, I started getting into her like more and like consuming like more stuff. Oh my god, what was her name? Uh, oh, Zelina, Zelina. Oh, yeah. Zelina, awesome. She's good, so good, beautiful. <laughs> she's very beautiful, undeniably. There's a, there's a, there's another wrestler that that's a VTuber actually, but uh, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can't really like talk about it because I don't think uh, yeah, maybe I can. <laughs> right, I just remembered. So yeah, we 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 won't go into who who they are or anything. Just that uh, 
I I know a few people that are VTubers that are actually like wrestling. Really? Yeah, and it's pretty cool. Well, look, look, the great crossover has begun. Yeah. It's already happening. We're it's already happening. It. In the throes of it. This is remarkable. One day it'll be me. <laughs> yes, it will be. Yeah. <laughs> Starting today. Your journey begins today, young lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I called you lady, young lady, even though you're 10,000 years old. Yeah, I'm older than you. Of... <laughs> yeah, well, 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 I mean, well, 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 listen, I don't like to, I don't like to, oh, look, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> that was that, probably, that, yeah. Another question, another question, we'll go. You know, I hit a wall there and I was really <laughs> grasping for something and I just, I had nothing. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> just... The fact that you even reached for it is good. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. But you do look very youthful for a 10,000 year old lady. You've oh, well. thank you. Thank you very much. That, that's very kind of you. I like oh. to lie and I tell people that I'm, I'm still 6,000 years old, you know? I don't want them oh, to well, fair. Well, fair enough. We all, we all bend the truth every now and again, you it's know? True. It's only unnatural. You know how it is. After some time, you just, you just stop counting. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's a number? Uh, exactly. Uh, 6,000, 12,000. Yeah. 11. How about, how about this question? Okay. Hello, big fan of both of you. I was wondering if Ladybeard could give Mouse some tips on how to do a metal screen, which he already did. We already did that. We didn't, we went into it off our own we impulse. We did. We did. Bust out some of your screaming for us, sweetie. <laughs> I forgot everything you taught me. <laughs> so you remember you make your cough noise? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. That's how I put more air behind it. <clears throat> yeah, she's a murderer. I love it. <laughs> hey now, here's hey now. Let me follow this question. Firstly, thank you for your question and for being a fan, anonymous. Um, I am mouse. Can you teach me some opera? Oh, oh my God. How? Let me see. Let me see if I could actually be a teacher because I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not good at te I'm not good at teaching. I'm sure you're excellent at teaching. Well, do you know can can you sustain a note? Um, I don't think I'm a soprano, but uh... Oh that's beautiful already. Thank you. you can add a little bit of vibrato and so you can go oh. <laughs> I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> How are we going? Are we going that was well? wonderful! You oh, actually added I'm... vibrato to it, right? This party talk. All right. Yeah! Oh, the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> you were doing so well. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Now, I tell you what, I will practice Despacito in my opera voice. And next time we stream, I'll bust out some operatic Despacito. Yeah! yeah. And I expect you to bust out some some um, uh, some metal core Despacito. I will, I will, I promise. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. It's a promise. The, the greatest collaboration ever. We'll do a pinky swear. Yeah, pinky swear. I can't give you my pinky right now, but so I've got just your imagine. Wings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bat Take my wing. Fat wing swear. I love it. <laughs> This is epic! Oh my goodness! We got another question. What we got? Next question. Oh, well, what? In in Japanese, you, Pinky swears like Yubi Kitty. Oh, I don't know. Uh, is yep, she always nodding. Yubi Kitty. Yubi Kitty. See, I remember Kitty. things. You know, I've never Pinky swore anything with a Japanese person. I've never had to use that. Yubi Kitty. All right, very good. Yubi Kitty. I'm gonna sit like this for the rest of the stream. <laughs> no, don't! You're tire yourself out. You need that probably pinky. will. Actually. I'll just move that down like that. Okay, I won't yeah, sit yeah. like that anymore. Just, All just right, move it down. Bad. You need that pink. You need to answer more questions. Oh my goodness, this is a long one. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, oh greetings wow. from Saint Petersburg, Russia. Oh, wow. <gasps> Lady Beard, my question to you is: Who, in your opinion, has the best attire? Uh, wait, the best attire Ooh. game in Puro Desu? Oh, Pro, Pro Desu. Wrestling, mm -hmm. Puro Desu -ding. Today, personally, my favorite attires are from Hiroshi Tanahashi. He always tries to implement some common Rider stuff onto his attires, and I love that, honestly. What about you? I love common Rider! 
we need to have this conversation as well. Actually. Oh yes, we the Tokusatsu conversation. Tokusatsu conversation. Um, off the top of well, off the top, I have the best attire in pro wrestling. Ah, uh, I mean, wah, I'm gonna go with. You know, I, I really like what uh, Kaidi has been doing with all her pirate stuff recently. Uh, not, Ooh, not necessarily Kaidi. recently, in general. This wrestler called Kaidi, she has a pirate gimmick. So she has a pirate hat and a um, ship steering wheel. What do they call it? St wheel, steering wheel for a ship? A storm. Storm? Start. St she has a steering wheel for a ship. So she comes out to the ring like that. Um, yeah, off the top of my head. Great attire. Uh, off the top of my head, Kaidi comes to mind. I've got a bunch of images, but uh, yeah. And um, uh, uh, attire, I'm going to go with Kaidi, but I'm also going to throw props to my friend uh, Shuri Kondo for having the nicest female six pack in pro wrestling. Whoa! Six pack? She's got great abs. She's also an MMA fighter, so when she cuts down for a fight, her abs are excellent. Mm. Whoa! Oh, oh my god, I wish I had a six pack. You uh, don't worry about it. You've got an Iron Man chest. That's far more unique. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. You've got the Iron Mouse chest. It's amazing. <laughs> that's true. I will, oh, well, wait a minute. Hold on. You, do you like tokusatsu? Tell, uh, tell me about your love of tokusatsu. I love tokusatsu. I've been a fan of tokusatsu for a long time. My brother got me into tokusatsu. Uh... Yeah. I love Kamen Rider and I love Super Sentai a lot. Really? That's yeah. Terrible. Yeah, people um, think it's weird. It's not weird, it's great. It is, it's amazing. I um, love it. Have it's... you have you been to Japan physically? I have never physically been to Japan. I wish I could go. But I've been virtually. Uh Connor has taken me around uh Fuck. Japan. Good. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta come over because when you go to the toy stores and everything, there's a lot of Kamen Rider and Super Sentai stuff, and you can buy your belts and you can buy your amulets and your gloves. You can get it all. I know, Connor's. <laughs> Connor's. <laughs> so, Connor took me around Japan multiple times yes. uh, on stream, and uh -huh. uh, he, he has purchased uh, multiple Kamen Rider and Super Sentai stuff for me. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. That's beautiful. You love it all? It's good stuff. I do, I do. I'm obsessed. I love collecting uh common writer belts and uh <laughs> henshin devices. <laughs> really? Which, yeah. Which is your which is your favorite season of common of My Kamen Rider? favorite common writer is common writer wizard. <laughs> wizard? Yes. I haven't seen wizard. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen wizard. Wizard uh, is I... really good. I like it, but a lot of people don't yeah. like it. Oh really? It's just, it's just, I feel like people get surprised when I say wizard because there's so many other ones that were like very beloved, but wizard was amazing. Really? Yeah. It sounds like a topical conversation. I liked, um, uh, Kab Kabu Kabuto. Kabuto! Kabuto? I liked yeah! Kabuto. Kabuto was good. That was my favorite. Oh, so you, you um, like comic writer. Can I tell you something? Yes. Uh, back when I was a voice dubber, I dubbed three seasons of Kamen Rider. Ah! So, <laughs> yeah. So we did Kabuto, we did den -O, and we did the one with the three rings. Ah! <laughs> Good times. So I've forgotten most of my characters, if I'm honest. But I remember in den -O, I was the the bear, the golden bear. Oh my god, wait a minute, wait, where, where did this, where did this dub air? <laughs> where did this dub air? What a question, I don't know. I guess somewhere in Asia, somewhere in non-Japanese Asia, where they play Kamen Rider on the cable TV and they have oh a my... dub in English. That is so cool! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> you are beautiful. Oh, you're so I'm sorry, I'm like fangirling really hard. Oh, what a good girl, you are so cute. You are very cute. <laughs> that is uh, so cool. Those, those series were a lot of fun to dub. That one, Den All, yeah, because there was the gold bear, there was the blue fish man type thing, there was the red orny, and there was the purple one that was like a child or something. Those four 
for I don't even know what they were. Four characters were all hanging out all the time. I can't believe you were Kintaros. Yeah. Kintaro, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good times. I bust down a line. So his line was seeing my strength will always make you cry. That was his catchphrase. So it was oh. seeing my strength will always make you cry. Something along with it. <laughs> <laughs> She's adorable! Look how adorable I am, is! I'm so happy I'm on this stream! Oh this my is god! <laughs> I, went, uh, I got dizzy from being so excited! <laughs> you are lovely, sweetie. What a good girl. Oh, so oh my god! <laughs> You're adorable! I love doing this stream! This is raising my self esteem! This is sensational! I love what? it! What? Your self esteem should be through the roof! You're incredible! Well, bless you. Thank you, sweetie. You have an you incredible, incredible story and an incredible life. Oh, you're very kind. Very no, kind. you! Ah. <laughs> very kind. Yeah, so, so yes, yeah, that's my exposure to the Carmen Riders in the form of uh, being a voice. <gasps> wow! That's incredible. Oh my god, I, I would have never known. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, one of the interesting things is no one ever knew because we weren't properly credited. It was a uh, yeah strange situation. A lot of the shows we didn't really get credited because what they would... Yeah, I don't even want to talk about the behind the scenes of it because I'm sure... I'm I'll sure. I'm sure it was a lot. In trouble somehow. But yeah, a lot of the stuff we didn't get credit for. But yeah, we did a lot of shows. It, it, I'm, I'm sure it happens a lot. Hmm. This is interesting. So we dubbed uh, Inazuma Eleven. Do you know that show? Wait, that that's the that's the. Oh my god! Why is it? It's a soccer anime. So there's a team of high school boys who yeah. play soccer. Yeah. Yeah. And they all sort of have superpowers and whatnot. So we dubbed Inazuma Eleven. And the series went, I think it was 101 episodes. Oh my. And then everyone had their characters in the team, but then every few episodes they play soccer against a new team. So over 101 episodes, there were something like 20 different teams. So we had the challenge that, you know, the, the dub team was only, you know, I think about five men and three women. So we got this challenge in that, We'd have to start recycling voices because everyone would use all their voices on the first few teams and now you've run out of voices. So no, you've got to take old voices and then give them to new characters and so forth. So because it, it was a myriad of characters for every dubber over such a long season. Oh, wow. What? Yeah. Yeah. So it was remarkable. So you'd kind of notice at some point in around episode 40, 50, 60, that kind of mark, you'd do a voice and you'd say to yourself, Sounds a lot like the voice that I gave to that character back in episode four. And it was oh, just Jesus. Yeah. yeah. How, many, it was a how many things do you think, like, how many uh, roles did you have you dubbed, do you think? A lot? Lots, oh lots. Because I was, I was a full-time dubber for several years. And uh, when I first arrived on the team, it was... So it was before the global financial crisis. So for anyone who doesn't know, 2008, there was a financial crisis and it kind of changed the economy of the entire world. So especially before the financial crisis, we really worked a lot. So we would do things like we would dub six episodes in a day. So to that end, if you're doing six episodes in a day, that's a 30 episode season. You get that done in a week. So, but we really had a lot of projects that were coming in endlessly all the time we were so busy so it was uh, yeah 10 a.m to 6 p.m every day and just... oh my god that's a lot endlessly. so we did and then of course the team is relatively small like i said there's total we had about five men and five women and then a few extras who came in every now and again so then for all those voices it's just a handful of people doing all these voices so uh yeah lots and lots of characters lots oh my goodness that's a lot yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, yeah, so I was, uh, yeah, these Kamen Rider characters. I was, yeah, Black Butler, if you know that show. I was Grell in Black Butler. Grell! Which hilarious. Yeah, I was Grell in Black Butler. Um, Bacano, which is my favorite show. I was uh, several voices in that. Firo, it was him. Jacuzzi, I was him as well in Black and uh, Bacano. Um, 
we did so many shows. We did this Chinese show called Pleasant Goat and Big Big Wolf, which is a huge show in China. So I was the wolf in that, who's the main, the lead bad guy. Um, but we did so many shows, both Japanese and Chinese, just endlessly. Wow. Yeah. What a, oh my God. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. It calmed down after the financial crisis because, of course, the whole world kind of went into turmoil. Yeah. And, yeah, and so there were, yeah, yeah. We still had a lot of projects, but the nature of them kind of changed dramatically. Um, but, yeah, it was a lot of work. Things have changed quite a bit since that yes, time. Exactly. Things have changed since 2008. Ah! A lot of change. The good old days. <laughs> Half the audience probably wasn't born before 2008. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I think I think I uh, I think I have a couple of uh, older people watching, so it's it's oh, yeah? okay. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, good. Our love to all viewers, great and small. Wow! Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we got some boomers in here. Boomers? What? <laughs> I love the word. Do you boomer. know boomer? What a, what a great name! I'm so pro boomer. Hey. But like boomer, boomer now means differently from boomer back then. Well, yeah, well that's true. Um, yeah, a, a boomer in my country sometimes a kangaroo is referred to as a boomer. Huh? <laughs> kangaroo? Yeah. Oh my god, kangaroos scare me. <laughs> you scared of kangaroos? Oh my god, they're so they're, they're terrifying. They look very strong. Well, they are extremely strong. Um. Back in, back like a hundred years ago and whatnot, they used to have kangaroo boxing matches. So they oh. put, they put boxing gloves on a kangaroo and put him in a boxing ring with a man. And they'd say, "All right, fight the kangaroo." Wait, that's a real thing. <laughs> it's not anymore because animal cruelty and so forth. You know, the world caught up and said this is a bit what? barbaric. This what? Yeah, oh my god. Um, kangaroos are very dangerous. They can injure you severely. That's so a I recommend. I recommend you don't fight a kangaroo. Well, I, I don't think I could ever fight. I'm I'm quite small. I'm four ten. Oh, you're a little devil! You're a little yeah, devil. a kangaroo would destroy me. <laughs> Kangaroos get to be like seven feet tall. Oh, and the red oh ones are just huge. Yeah. What? If you're uh, if you're driving your car in the outback. And you hit a kangaroo, if it's a red kangaroo, so one of the huge ones, a lot of the time you'll have the collision. The kangaroo will get up and hop away, and your car will never move again. <gasps> oh my god! It's like he's a monster! <laughs> they are monsters. They jump the big ones get remarkably huge. I saw a video of a kangaroo like attacking uh an animal and some guy like boxed the kangaroo. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god, that it it it, it I was gripped with fear. <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend punching kangaroos, both for the sake of the animal cruelty factor and for the sake of the fact that if you get in a fist fight with a kangaroo, the kangaroo's got a really good chance of winning. They are very mm. dangerous. They're they they seem very dangerous and they just don't they still oh goodness, they're scary to me. Yeah, they're, they're physical specimens. They are forces of nature. Koalas scare me too. Oh, koalas scratch you. You need to be careful if you hug a koala for a photo because they can dig their claws in and they'll scratch you. Oh my god. So Is that bad? Not necessarily. Not necessarily, but be careful. You guys have some pretty scary animals. <laughs> yeah, in Australia, we got some good ones. Um, yeah. Can I say, let me tell you something about koalas. Koalas are like the laziest animal you can ever imagine. Those things sleep for 19 hours a day. What? Yeah, they sleep a lot because they only eat eucalyptus leaves and there's not very many calories in those. So they have to spend most of their lives asleep. Oh my god, they're boring. <laughs> <laughs> they just look scary to me. Koalas look scary? Yeah, I don't know. They just I they just don't seem I feel like they they're like deceptively cute. Oh, well, fair enough. So you think they're hiding something? Yes. Have you heard of a drop bear? I <laughs> Joey taught me that. You need to take care of the drop bears. Anyone going anywhere near the continent of Australia, you be careful of drop bears. 
very, very dangerous. It's a serious threat to your safety. Joey was teaching me about koalas and all that stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, now I'm even more terrified. Yep, if you're walking in the bush in Australia, you want to be careful of them drop bears. Oh, they geez. will get you. The I drop feel... bear, the uninitiated, the drop bear is, it's, it's a cousin of the koala, but it's extremely violent and extremely territorial. So <laughs> the thing about the drop bear is it'll, it'll hang on to the branches of the trees, yeah? But then if somebody walks underneath the tree, they see it as an invasion of their territory. So what they will do is they will let go of the branch and they will grasp your face and with their hideous fangs and claws, they will gnaw and gnash and attack your face and there'll be nothing left of you. Drop bears are very dangerous. That's why if you're walking in the bush in Australia, it's important to walk through the bush like this. hey a ho a hey a ho a hey a ho a hey a ho a because that's what the drop bears are scared of. They won't attack you if you do that. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness me. Must be careful. Oh, Jesus. Animals are scary! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm knackered. <laughs> Would you oh. like would you like to answer one more question and wrap things up? I know question. it's been it's been a long a long day. No, I'm having a good time. It's very exciting. To, um, oh, a lot of breath has been used. Lady has talked too much. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll Let's... we'll go with one more question. All right, good. Let's bring it on. What we got? Okay. One more question. Oh, hey Lady Beard, with your background in martial arts and love of action movies. Which actor would you say is going to be the face of the high octane punch em ups for the next decade? Thanks for being awesome, both of you. Oh, that's a very kind comment. Bless you, Anonymous. Um, action stars in the coming generation. Right now, of course, we have Eco uh, from uh, The Raid, who then has gone on. That's my favorite movie! movie. <laughs> the Raid! Yes! Yeah, I love, you love that movie. movie! I love that movie. I watched it so many times. The Indonesian martial arts movie. Yes. Do how do you watch it? Do you have the DVD or how do you watch it? I actually do have a DVD. Do you do you have? It's a on streaming. It? It's on streaming. Oh, it's on streaming. Do you have the Blu-ray? I don't have the Blu-ray. Do you know what, my darling? If you get the Blu-ray, I am the voice of Eco. What? <laughs> You're kidding! Yeah, yeah. I think it was the Blu-ray released in America as well. So it's it's a Blu-ray. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh my god. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm Eco in the raid. In in our dub anyway, I'm Eco. No way. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god! You don't understand! I have to get that now! <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. I love Iron Mouse. My self-esteem has been raised so much on this stream. This I love excellent. that movie so much! Good. I'm glad you like it. It's an excellent movie. I was just it? talking about it the other day because I, to me, it's like one of the greatest action movies of all time. I think very good. the mar the the fight choreography is just so good. Mm, very good. There's that scene where he's hiding in the wall. A guy sticks the machete through the wall and then's dragging it along and it's just, it's up in his cheek. Oh, it's so yeah. Tense. Right. Oh I my god. It. I. <laughs> I swear, I feel like every time I stream, I tell people to watch that movie because it's just, it's just one of those movies that you just have to see it. You have to it's watch amazing, it. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. And my other favorite bit is when he's got the guy's head and he goes, bop, 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 down yes! the wall with the guy's head. Oh, I love it so much. So good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you saw the second one, yeah? I did. And I was very pleasantly surprised that the second one was good too. I was yeah, so worried. Second one was great as well. So my best mate in Hong Kong, he's the voice of the bad guy in the second one in the raid too. Yeah, good oh times. Oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you don't did. What the heck? Yeah. I was there for the first one. For the second one, I'd already left the team by then. Aww. For those are my friends who did but the second still, one. you were in the yeah. first one. <gasps> yeah. I can't believe I'm talking to cool. somebody who dubbed the movie. It was awesome. It's a good dub, actually. Yeah, we're happy with that. It was oh good. Oh my god. Great. great fighting in the raid. It's wonderful. It's um, so good. Uh, I love watching the second one as well because you can see in the first one you can see how they really did an excellent job with very limited resources and you can see in the second one clearly someone came in and went here's millions of dollars now go crazy so, <laughs> that's uh, there's that fight scene in the car when he goes in the back of the car and he yeah. fights the four guys in the car i love it so much oh my it's god so cool. now i want to watch it now after <laughs> i'm gonna have to watch it tonight
Yeah, I might have to watch it again as well, actually. I love the Do raid. Do you like, raid uh, uh, Ip Man? Ip Man? Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah! <laughs> that's wonderful. Oh! oh my god, I feel so bad. I derailed you from your question. That's fine, that's fine. Well, that's right, we're having an action movie conversation, so I think this is fine. But yeah, going forward, I mean, Eco is the guy at the moment. Beyond him, I'm not really sure at the moment. I think uh, the next the next individual is yet to emerge, so we'll have to see. Um, hey! Lady Bid! Action hero for the 2020s, I reckon! Lady Bid! Coming at you! Lady Bid action movies coming at you very soon! Yeah! I've already voiced them! Now, I um, used to be a stuntman in them. Now, let's do the whole damn thing. Let's do the whole damn thing. Lady Bird action movies coming at you. Yeah. Oh, yes. We'll have Iron Mouse involved as well. You can make yeah. an appearance. Yes. A digital cameo. It'll be awesome. Oh, my God. I would be honored to have a digital cameo. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> That'd be the best. Yeah, it'll be like a little tiny Easter egg. Yeah. It'd be the best Easter egg ever. It'd be the biggest Easter egg. The greatest <laughs> Easter egg. There'd be a whole whole Easter house, not just an egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Easter house. <laughs> Easter house. This oh is my god, I had so I had much fun. Else. I had something else. Oh, that's right. Um, <gasps> yeah? You talked about Yip Man. Uh, do you know the Donnie Yen film Flashpoint? I have not seen Flashpoint. Thank you. Go and find Flashpoint. Oh my god, now I'm going to watch it today. <laughs> go and find Flashpoint. Uh, about 10 minutes into Flashpoint. There is a scene in a nightclub where one of the gangsters is on the dance floor and a young foreign man in a white shirt comes and gets in his face and then he smashes a bottle over that young white man's head. That young white man is me. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, now I have go to go out. watch the movie today. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Much younger time. It was Lady Beard uh, in my pre-Lady Beard life with no beard and short hair. So you can enjoy that. Oh my God, your your career has been incredible. I'm I, I'm I'm speechless. Truly, no, you truly no. are an illustrious guest. Oh bless you! I've just been at it for a long time. That's it. I remember I remember when I was much younger. I spoke to someone. I said the same thing. I'm like, wow, you've done so much. And his response was, I'm just old. <laughs> well, you're not and old for me. That's the case. I'm just old. I've just had a lot of. A lot of years in to do the things. That's all it is. Well, you're not old to me. You're young. Oh, thank you, sweet. I'm very grateful, though. Thank you, I Mouse. You're very sweet. Well, very thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for coming. I don't want to take up too much of your time because I know you're tired and you must have a lot of stuff to do. So we, we should probably wrap it up. Should we wrap this bad boy up? Probably wrap this bad boy up, yeah. Well, this has been an absolute pleasure, though, sweetheart. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, well, thank um, you. Can I plug my social media? Of so course. course. Go right ahead. Dear friends, thank you all very, very much for tuning in today. If you want to follow me on the internet, you can go to at ladybeard underscore Japan. And please also check out my group, Baby Beard. We are at babybeard underscore Japan. Uh, can we put links in the thingamajig or whatever it is, please, sweetheart? Oh, is goodness there a thingamajig? Me. Uh... Oh, my, my mods have already done so. They put links in the chat already. God Yay! God, please follow! Yay. Click the links Yay, in the chat! Follow. Yay! Thank you very much. Thank um, you. You are, a, you are a fantastic interviewer, sweetheart. This has been an absolute pleasure today. Thank oh, you for having me. Oh, no, thank you for coming. I'm, I'm honored to have you on here. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank I you. It's been an absolute you. pleasure. Thank, thank you. you to everyone who's tuned in. Thank you to Shiori. Yeah, thank you, Shiori! Smiling. Yeah, <laughs> Yay! and thank you, you everybody. Thank you everybody for watching. We're gonna go now. Uh, I love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.